Hello everyone. Uh, the other day I was watching a video on Black Pen Red Pen's channel in which he had this integral here. Uh, uh, which we're doing a double integral. Uh, the internal one is with respect to y, uh, going from the negative square root of 9 minus x squared to the positive square root of 9 minus x squared, uh, and the outer one with respect to x going from 0 to 3. Uh, and the, the thing we're integrating is x cubed plus xy squared. Now, uh, he had three ways of going about doing it. One was to switch the order of integration, uh, which uh, required some setup steps, but it did lead to a reasonably nice second integral stage. His, and the, the one he actually followed through to its conclusion was to switch to polar coordinates, uh, which uh, makes sense here. If you study this closely enough, you might realize that this is some sort of a circle thing. Uh, so polar coordinates would be well indicated there. However, the straight up, just do it the way it's written method, he started out this method, he did the first integration, did the substitutions uh, for y, and then bailed on it because it looked scary. Now, it does look scary when you get to that stage, and it's perfectly reasonable that you might not want to do that. But I thought, you know, maybe this isn't so bad as it looks. And I gave it a whirl. And the first time through, I screwed up the numerical calculations, but it worked out. So, uh, so our first step here is to go ahead and integrate with respect to y. Now, this is actually easy enough to do. Uh, it's just a polynomial, right? And x, I, x cubed and x are just constants with respect to y. So we'll in, do the internal, the, the interior integral here. So this is going to be, and we still have the 0 to 3 outer integral. Uh, so when we integrate x cubed, that turns into x cubed y. Uh, and we got y squared, that's just a power rule. So that becomes y cubed, we gotta divide by the new exponent. So that's 1 third x times y cubed. And we need to evaluate this from y equals negative 9 minus x squared to positive square root 9 minus x squared and this is still dx. So we still have to integrate with respect to x. So this doesn't look too bad until you start throwing the square root stuff around. Now when we substitute, we get a mess. So we still have the integral from 0 to 3. And now we've got the, we got to substitute this, the top value in for y. So then we have x cubed times, and I'm going to switch these to the, to one half exponent instead of the square root sign. So this is going to be 9 minus x squared to the 1 half, okay? Uh, then we got, can't forget about the second part, which is 1 third x, and then we got uh, 9 minus x squared to the one-half, and this is going to be cubed. Now we need to subtract, I'm going to try and go on a straight line across the page here, uh, then we subtract from that, and we need the negative version of this, so then we have x cubed times and then we have negative 
and this is 9 minus x squared to the 1 half and then we add 1 third times x times minus 9 minus x squared to the 1 half and this is all cubed and then this whole thing here is still dx okay so this whole thing here that looks pretty scary now if we take a look here this negative here well first this negative and this positive turn into a negative now this negative sign here is going to we, when we uh, multiply it out it's going to turn this into a plus and we got a negative cubed inside here so that will still be a negative and this negative sign this plus sign changes to a negative from this so negative times negative is positive so we have this and this are actually the same and this and this are actually the same so this gives us the integral from 0 to 3 of we got two of these so it's 2 x cubed times 9 minus x squared to the 1 half plus and then 2 thirds is one third and one third times x now we got a half power to a third power so we can multiply the powers so that gives us 9 minus x squared to the three halves power now all of this is still dx now this still looks scary really scary so what what can we do with this well uh, my first thought was why don't we try a u substitution so let's uh, so I'm thinking well well this 9 minus x squared business is getting annoying so let's do a u sub so we'll let u equal 9 minus x squared. Now that will mean that du equals negative 2x dx. And that means that dx will equal uh, du over negative 2x. Okay? So, does that help us at all? Well, we can factor a 2x out of both of these terms. Uh, so we'll have a, so we'll end up left with x squared here and one third here. Uh, so we'll have a 2x on top. When we substitute in for dx, we'll get a, a negative 2x on the bottom. So the 2x will go away. And of course, the these will turn into u's inside the parentheses. But we've got, a, we, but we have this stray x squared let, we'll have left over. Uh, so what do we do, like what can we do with that x squared? Well, uh, we can observe here that we have an x squared here. So from this we get x squared is equal to 9 minus u. Add x squared to both sides, subtract u from both sides. So that means we can get rid of the, the extraneous x squared that's going to be here as well. So let's go ahead and do the substitution. So this is going to be equal to an integral, and there's going to be some bounds on here. So this is x equals 0. So if we put x equals 0 into here, we get u equals 9. So u equals 9. Okay. If we put um, 3 into here, we get 9 minus 3 squared, so then u will be 0. So we're going from 9 to, to 0. Okay. Now, 
let's do our substitution. So, as I said, we can factor a 2x out here, so we'll do that. So we have 2x, and then we've got, and that's going to multiply with x squared, which we've already seen as 9 minus u, 9 minus u, and then this is u, so u to the 1 half, plus, now this is going to be 1 third, because we took a 2x out, and then this is u, and, the, and that's to the 3 halves, and dx will be du, and this will be all over, negative 2x. And as you can see, the 2x's cancel, and we're left with the negative, which we can take outside of the integral. So that gives us the negative integral from 9 to 0 of, now, we can... Uh, we, we can distribute that, so we get 9u to the 1 half minus u times u to the half is u to the 3 halves plus 1 third u to the 3 halves, and this is of course still du. Now we can collect our like terms here. So we have uh, still the integral from 9 to 0 of, and now we got 9u to the 1 half, right? Now we got minus 1u to the 3 halves plus a third, so that's minus 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, and this is still du. Now, we can calculate this. This is actually, uh, we, we can actually integrate this. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, let's get some more space here. Okay. Okay. So, when we integrate 9 times u to the 1 half, we add 1 to the power. So, we, so we keep the 9. So we have 9 and we need to multiply by the new power. The, in, the reciprocal of the new power, the new power will be 3 halves, so we got multiplied by 2 thirds, right? And then we got to keep, got to put our, our new power, so that's 3 halves. Now we continue, we've got to uh, uh, keep our negative 2 thirds here. Our new power here will be 5 halves. So we got to multiply by two fifths, and then we got times u to the five halves. Now this we need to evaluate from nine to zero, and don't forget we got to keep our negative sign. So this is our result. Now, we don't need plus c's here because this is a definite integral. Um, great, now we need to evaluate this. So first up, we, we keep the negative, and I'll keep the brackets. So the first one, um, well actually let's just uh, clean this up first. So this 3 and 9 cancel, it gives you 3 times 2, so that's uh, 6, and then it's times u to the 3 halves, minus, and then this is 4 over 15, times u to the 5 halves. And that's evaluated from 9 to 0. 
Now we can, we can go ahead, that's simplified enough, we can put in our, our substitution. So we still have the negative. Now, we, we first with the top, so we've got 6 times 0 to the 3 halves minus 4 fifteenths times 0 to the 5 halves. Then we have to subtract. Uh, so 6, so it's going to be 6 times 9 to the 3 halves. Now, because we're subtracting, um, we're subtracting here, um, I'm just going to put uh, uh, parentheses in here um, so I don't have to mess with the sign there. And then we've got 4 fifteenths times 9 to the 5 halves. Okay, now you can see immediately this and this are 0. And this negative sign and this negative sign will cancel out. So that will give us uh, just these two terms here. Now, we got a square root here with the one-half power, and since 9 is a perfect square, we can just take the square root of it, we get 3 for both of those. So this is going to give us 6 times 3 cubed, right, minus 4 fifteenths times 3 to the 5 halves. No, no, just to the 5, the fifth power, because I already did the square root. Now this looks like it'd be a bear to calculate, but uh, we can actually use some algebra tricks here. So we've got 6 is 2 times 3, so we can actually turn this into 2 times 3 to the 4th, and 15 is, as we discovered earlier, uh, 3 times 5. So we can divide out a 3 here, and that gives us minus 4 fifths times 3 to the 4th. Now, we can do this. Uh, this is 10 fifths minus 4 fifths gives us 6 fifths times 3 to the 4. Now, 3 to the 4th is 81. Uh, multiply that by uh, 6, you get 486. And uh, then you get divide by 5, of course, that doesn't go evenly. So you get 486 over 5. And this here is the answer. So it turns out that this whole thing is not nearly so bad as it looks on the surface. If we, uh, if we come back to the start here, uh, this here is scary. And this is where black pen, red pen bailed out, because it's scary. Uh, when you collect it together, you get this. That still doesn't look nice. Uh, and if you, uh, you could easily get confused on, on how you, you deal with that. Because you can't, you could possibly, I suppose, uh, try distributing things out somehow and all of that. But, you know, really, uh, I think that would make it harder. Uh, instead, uh, the U, a, a relatively simple U substitution, the obvious U substitution, in fact, uh, gives us something that we can actually work with. And we never have to convert it back to the uh, X world, the X and Y world. Um, so uh, this, it, you know, this is actually this happens quite a lot in uh, in math, uh, where something that looks really ugly will turn turn into something relatively simple, uh, as in this case. It doesn't always. Sometimes something relatively simple turns into something that's basically impossible, but 
you know that that's not the case here uh, so it, it turns out that uh, this one going through it uh, in the naive way exactly as written it doesn't really turn out to be all that much harder than uh, doing a polar coordinate ch a change or uh, switching the order of integration uh, it's just a question of where the uh, extra setup work uh, happens. Here it happens with the U substitution, uh, whereas in the coordinate switch, you've got to do the, the coordinate change at the start, and you have to know a little bit more to do that. Uh, or if you switch the order of integration, you have to do all of the prep work to switch everything around as well. Uh, and I don't think it was necessarily any slower doing it this way, or any harder overall, but the the other two ways of doing it do give you a nicer second integration, and that could be worth something, and, and it's worth knowing about that. But if you want to know how the uh, uh, the how it goes with switching the integral uh, integration order or the polar conversion, uh, I invite you to go over and watch Black Pen Red Pen's video. Uh, he doesn't actually complete the uh, the steps with the uh, switching the integral order, uh, but you can see how easy it is to do the the final integration with that one. Uh, he does complete it through with the polar form, and he does come up with 486 over five. So, uh, really, that's it. That that's all there is to it. So I'll leave you with, uh, with just a mention that I have a Patreon. If you want to support the channel, it's at patreon.com slash lostwizard. If you don't, that's fine too. And of course, the usual like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.